but the biggest like obstacle is like getting views in mm-hmm. itself because you're gonna start from the bottom mm-hmm. i start from the bottom is really hard to make your way up because mm-hmm. you have to keep on posting consi- consistently mm-hmm. like video after video after video mm-hmm. like day after day and then after that your views will start s- slowly start growing and growing mm-hmm. and growing until you like reach where all them people are like basically like uh, beta squad, side men, all them, all them, man, because they all start from the bottom and go beyond. Pursue. Oh, talk about that. What do you mean pursue? What's that about? Pursue. Go on. That's basically all I have to say. Like, like, like how anime people do it. They like, they don't die, but they the grab. Guy. Yeah, they grab the ground. I don't know what that's meant to do, and then they start powering it up, and then they defeat the villain. So they like. Keep going on. Yeah, they keep going on, doing it, basically never give up. Enough said. Yeah. Enough said. Never yeah. give up. Yeah. Never gonna give you up. Never, never gonna, gonna let, let you down. down. Never gonna da, 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 desert you. Three, two, one. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Jeffrey Sarpon Podcast. Today's a very special episode. Um, I'm probably gonna disable the comments for this because this one's a very personal ex- episode to me. Um, I have I have on my cousin, <laughs> my royal family, um, on this one. I thought I was I was thinking the other day about doing a podcast with a younger generation, just to see what their perspective is on the world. And so today I have with me Kevin. Kevin, do you want to ex- just say hi, introduce yourself quickly? What you say? Uh, hi, hello, my name is Kevin. You talked about <laughs> what you're saying, but did you do the first thing? Just to say what you're saying. What is wrong with okay, you? It is. Hello, my name is Kelvin. What is your passion? Um, I like. Well, what do you want to be? When, what do you want oh, to be? I want to be an actor when I grow up. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm in year twelve. Do what to, what generation are you? What? Um, Generation Z, Gen Z, the stupidest generation on this earth, kind of. That's a good start. That's a good start. You know, you mix the London um, hating of self with the generation below. It's a double hate of self, but this should be fun. I think this is a really, really interesting one because, like. I've not interviewed anyone this around your age, and it's like I'm gonna approach it the same way as I would with the same type of questions, um, and we we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, you can you know uh, show me or explain to me what is going on in your generation, you know, and like obviously you're just one person, so like don't take this as like oh this is what everyone else thinks, but it's interesting to get an anecdotal experience, anecdotal kind of evidence, right? Okay, so first off, you said you were in Gen Z. What does that mean? Like, how, like, what age range is that? Like, if you know, if you don't know, like, how, what is that like? What's, what's, what's it like to be in your year? You said you're in your 12. What is your 12 like? Um, so basically, year 12, it's a very, it's a very surreal experience because, like, let's say there's like half the people are doing one thing and half the people are doing another. Yeah, let's say. You got the vapors on one side mm-hmm. and just the people who, you just want to keep their lungs mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah on the other side and like i think like our age range are like let's say from ooh, 2002 so i think 16. so it's probably from 14 to 16. oh no no it's like it's a few years like older it's like 2002 or 2004 okay to like 2000 and 11 or 2010 okay somewhere around that that's a big age range okay and um what is okay so you said you wanted to do uh performance arts yeah why do you want to do that let's start with your passions to get more get to know you more so basically um i want to do it more because like from what i've seen on tv and movies they do a hella good job mm. like for example dwayne the rock johnson mm. um oof. the idris guy i forgot his name idris alba yeah idris alba how do you want to be like him but you forget his name? I only know his first name still. What is what's his uh what is uh what's your favorite movie? Oh. Movie or T V series? Give me both. Okay, my T V my favorite T V series is obviously Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. Six Six Show. Obviously. Yeah. And you're, you're too young for Doctor Who. When did you watch Doctor Who? Oh, my mom showed me. Okay. So when I was like bare young. That, yeah, I, I watched it too to be honest. Yeah. Um I finished every 13 seasons 13 seasons yeah to it. okay what about movies movie? um oof. it's either one of the spider-man movies or oh i had one in just in mind yeah i forgot one of the spider which part of the movie which you gotta pick one. Oh, um like it's either between across the spider-verse mm-hmm. or one of the 
uh, Sony movies like Tom Holland ones. Yeah, or Andrew Garfield or um Toby Maguire ones. And why do you want to be a performance art, a performance um, actor? Because it feels like it feels like just being there mm-hmm. feels like just doing all them stunts just feels like what oh i want to be this i just want to do it mm-hmm. if it's it's probably gonna be so fun but at the same time it might be a very hard industry to, to go to because mm-hmm. like there's so much other people who want to be like them mm-hmm. but like you know but they, it doesn't matter to you yeah you believe in yourself yeah i believe in myself okay okay this is good it's a good little introduction into who you are i think um as you, I mean, I I've known you since you were born, so it's a bit different. Like, but I think it's good for them to get an understanding of, like, what kind of people. I, I <laughs> look at you trying to. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna do the undertake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I, I did. I did. I did. I can't you, you don't do that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, we'll start with technology. I know technology is like a big thing. I think that's the biggest difference for me to see the difference between your generation and mine. Is how you guys were exposed to technology. So my question is, how does using technologies like smartphones and social media influence the way you see yourself? You know, and how does it? What does it create in people that you know and your friends? So basically, it creates like, let's say, for example, one confident people because mm-hmm. like they can express um, themselves even more on social media because mm-hmm. like. Um, they can't really do it outside of social media because if they do they might get like ridiculed like mm-hmm. let's say if they go to school like my school mm-hmm. um i'm not saying this happens but people can just laugh at you or mm-hmm. something like that but on social media like there's a lot of people who support you on there mm-hmm. like and you can like help you just yeah yeah just go up go beyond yeah and also it also c- creates insecure people because like um people might send hate mm-hmm. and hate might like drive you to like what doing bad stuff yeah doing bad stuff or like just like just make your account private only for people that you know and trust and stuff like that what has it done for you is it more um made you more secure or more more insecure oh i don't really use social media that much but i like i'm feel a bit confident because like um like i say back in 2021 I, I used to try to do streaming back in the day yeah, yeah back in the day i got like six views yeah, but I just forgot to stream, so I didn't really pursue it like that. And I had like a really bad PC back then, mm. so it was I was kind of slow. Um, but at the same time, um, I don't I'm not really insecure, mm. but I'm just I'm being wary of the people who see it mm-hmm. because like they don't you don't know what they have like. Let's say if you post something on your Insta story, for example, mm-hmm. they might like what screenshot it, mm-hmm. and as all of a sudden they have something on you. Like, it yeah. d- doesn't make sense. Yeah, like they can show it to your friends. Yeah, like. well, your friends can basically see it, but like they can show it to it, like any random person. A random person can follow you and just ridicule it. Like, that's a lot. Which doesn't make sense. <laughs> there's a lot of um. I'm just just playing with you. There's a lot of um people get bullied and stuff. Like, there's a lot of like um fights happen because of social media in your school. Oh, not my school. No, not what I've, from I've heard of. But all I know there's like arguments, not because of social media. But I mean, I think maybe because mm-hmm. I'm not on that side. But okay. Okay. I, what about I'm what about? Well, okay what about technology then i know you not social media but you use a lot of technology you're playing games all day literally all day guys it's actually crazy not all day. it's literally crazy you, you, you only play you don't play games all day because you have no other choice you have to go other places yeah. but anyway okay i'm not gonna ridicule you either how what is that like what's that been like how have you kind of developed you've kind of grown up on smartphones you've kind of grown up on ipads and nav computers what has that been like and does that affect the way you kind of can talk to people and stuff like that? I mean, yeah, it kind of does because, like, people have the same interests as you. Like, let's mm. say I have, like, the HP Book 450, something like that. I really forgot the name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But all I know is I have a good GPU and, like, um, I can cl- basically connect with people who mm-hmm. basically know a lot about tech and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, like, it makes it kind of easier to make, like, online friends, mm-hmm. for, for example. That's a good segue. Yeah. That's a good. That's a really good segue into the next question. Then, what is that like? Because I didn't grow up on an online friends. I never really had online friends. All the friends that I knew were from my school or like from down the street. Do you remember Omar? Yeah. Yeah. So I like I had people like that. I just knew people from across the street because we'd go out and then like 
we'll just play it we play outside that used to be back in the day when i was going to church for a back in the day when your church that's not that long for me but for you it is must have been because you've already lived like less like a decade and something a decade and a half mm-hmm. but anyway okay the point the point i'm trying to make is that i didn't have a lot a lot of online friends growing up but for you you've had a lot of that what is that like how do you balance your social friend your friendships on like um online and also real life and like which ones are more important to you i don't really have a more important like i both i love them all equally mm-hmm. but the way i do balance them out is like let's say if i come back from school and i already scale, schedule to play something with my friend mm-hmm. yeah from school yeah i like tell my online friend who like we've been friends for like six years mm-hmm. um or uh, i have to go play with my friend for an hour uh, like for a bit so i'll call you like an hour or so mm-hmm. yeah and then i'll then when when it's nearly time i check the time i tell my online friend oh um i'm gonna go like let's say if it's like seven o'clock i'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go um talk to my other friend because like we need to do something together like i need to help him in the game or something like that so basically yeah. so does it help is it is it easier to make friends now you're saying you think or what I mean, it depends because, like, if you say the wrong thing to someone online, they can they can take it like completely personal, mm. and like, what they could just start like arguing with you. Has that happened to you? Oh, kind of. Well, not really. Were they, they weren't arguing with you, or like? No, we just had a, a, like a bunch of disagreements, and but then we just like sorted it out and stuff like that. Okay. But it happens to my friend a lot. Do you yeah. still make like friends in person? Oh yeah, because you know how I recently just joined, mm-hmm. um, what um college, mm-hmm. yeah. I've made a lot of new friends because since I've since I've like I know a guy in my class. We're like close. Mm-hmm. I met his friends that he that he hangs out with. Mm-hmm. So basically, we're basically all one big friend group. Does it like? Do you think like it's harder for people your age to make friends now because they're all stuck online and like they don't really know how to talk to people in real life? It's not really hard necessarily because like let's say you, they already have the skills mm. um um t- from talking to people outside so they can just transfer that out to online mm-hmm. like let's say if you're on what snapchat or insta and someone just randomly adds you mm-hmm. and they they want to speak to you you can basically say just create a conversation and like uh how are you doing what school you like not basically what school do you go to and i want to find you mm-hmm. like oh uh, well, what courses do you study or s- something like that that's so interesting that's so interesting because i think there's the there's the idea that it's harder for your generation to do stuff because you're all kind of like you know schizophrenic and like adhd and you can't really like face people look at people in the eye but you're saying that like actually online has actually helped you because it's kind of giving you the, like the skills that you can when you meet people it's like it's just oh you find how what what you two have in common and once you do that it's easier to just like be friends okay speaking on that then go more on that cre- creative side then what are some of the things you know when you're talking, you're talking about skills before like what, what are the, some of the ways that you can express yourself creatively you know do you think that your generation because i know you're always online is does that help you be more creative and then like um if not the why like it, it does basically like help you be more creative because like let's say um you can you want to start like a youtube house or youtube channel with mm-hmm. you and your friend together mm-hmm. you could basically um arrange a time where you guys are both free mm-hmm. and just both record each other like with each other's voices mm-hmm. like you guys you guys can both record at the same time and post on different youtube channels but obviously one person is going to be a little bit bigger than the other mm-hmm. but you guys are but you guys can still like record with each other because um let's say yeah yeah, because like your viewers won't want to see more of that person Mm -hmm. and that makes your viewers transfer to their youtube channel and follow them as well Mm -hmm. even though they would have like a little bit less of a sub like sub like following yeah yeah. yeah. and how do you think it, it doesn't help like in what way does it not i mean sometimes it can create arguments yeah but um like let's say you get more people to join Mm -hmm. on like your little youtube um tiktok Mm -hmm. um crusade Mm -hmm. um people might not like each other in like in that little circle Mm -hmm. so that it might create arguments people might fall out like and the whole thing just might cause like crumbling down yeah and then 
yeah you have to like put out a whole heartfelt what video <laughs> on youtube saying I oh <laughs> yeah like do you remember that scene in spider-man when he's like guys i made a mistake and he's like two seconds later he's like i made another mistake with which spider-man the anime it's the anime show there's too much there's i think it's the second it's the second one when he's like doing the little like he does adverts Wait, I'm trying Miles to... Morales doing adverts and then he's like, uh, guys, I made a mistake. And there's like another one. He's like, oh, guys, I made another mistake. In the second movie. The second movie. It's fine. You forgot it. You're not real. I, I, it's fine. Okay, I am. I, I haven't watched the movie in time. I just called time. you 4K. You know, you okay, I have. All your I've... friends are going to be like, I know what you're talking about. And yeah, no, like, no, no, no. I haven't watched the movie in time. That's why. And it's supposed to be a best, your favorite movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Well, one. On creativity. What are some of the things that you want to do creatively online? And like, what is the biggest challenge you think you're gonna face? Oh, uh, I just want to like s- side like start like a side hustle, basically mm-hmm. like little streaming YouTube channel, basically like Kaisa Nat. Mm-hmm. If any of you guys know who he is, maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Our generation is so old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he is basically your generation. That is true. Yeah, um, like um, like do a little bit of streaming because let's say if I do become big mm-hmm. and I start streaming. The people who like look up to me will start like following like well let's say twitch mm-hmm. my thing and i start like streaming games and stuff like that mm-hmm. but the biggest like obstacle is like getting views in mm-hmm. itself because you're gonna start from the bottom mm-hmm. i start from the bottom is really hard to make your way up because mm-hmm. you have to keep on posting consi- consistently mm-hmm. like video after video after video mm-hmm. like day after day and after that, your views will start slowly start growing and growing and growing until you like reach where all them people are like basically like uh, beta squad, side men, all them, all them man, because they all start from the bottom. So, so like when I say like creativity online to you, is it you just like do you do you think like Kai Sinet, side men, KSI, um, beta squad? That's like what you recognize as like creativity online. That's what you've grown up with. Is that the I question I'm asking? I mean, yeah, basically, because, like, they all start from something mm-hmm. and they use, like, their... create they, They're creative to, that's like, true. build their way up, basically. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And, okay, so you mentioned, like, side hustles and you said, like, streaming and stuff like that. Is most of your generation just... Is that the kind of jobs they want? What, what, are, the, what are the kind of jobs that people around your age want when they grow up? Like... They want to be like the usual lawyers, doctors, mm-hmm. yeah. But some people may want to be like, let's say, streamers, because like it may like what be more comfortable with them, just like st- like sharing the game mm-hmm. or something like that. And like they might start from like little Discord servers or something like that, mm-hmm. yeah. But eventually they'll get bigger. So yeah. But they still want to be lawyers and doctors. Yeah, they they might still want to be lawyers and doctors, but let's say if they get a big following, mm-hmm. they still might like they may use like that that money to help them with their tuition. Let let's mm-hmm. say the university tuition or something like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's interesting actually. What are some of the best and worst things about your generation? Um, we spoke a lot about just like it's kind of hard and i know and i know and i i think i um, i'll give you a kind of a couple minutes to, a couple of seconds to think about it you can give me one bad one good um but uh, yeah talk about some of the things that you've noticed in your generation that one that you are like you know happy about something you're like not really happy about oh because like with our generation we are stupid people like <laughs> like <laughs> it's, we're not really stupid but we are stupid like let's say for example mm-hmm. right um something happened like yeah and then we put out the most vile insults out there mm-hmm. without even knowing the other side of the story mm-hmm. and the other side of the story might be right mm-hmm. yeah for let's say for example oh um let's say jeffrey mm-hmm. did something mm-hmm. really bad yeah mm-hmm. Well, they only saw one part of the really bad, mm-hmm. but not the other part of the really bad. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So then they just start hating on Jeffrey. Yeah, they start hating on Jeffrey, but without hearing Jeffrey's sides. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Think that's, do you think that's because of, like, cancel culture and how you guys have grown up? Yeah, cancel culture. Whatever that is. I mean, I know what that is, but... <laughs> you guys so, are like, I don't even care. Yeah, you don't care. Like, we heard, we heard one side that... One side seems better, so... Here's another question before you answer that. Do you guys care about politics? Half the time. What do you mean? Let's try to explain that. If you Rishi can. Sunak, I I do not give a damn about him. But at the same time, I do. 
But you guys don't pay attention to politics? No. Not really. I mean, some of us do, but I, per- me personally, I don't. Do you talk about it in school? No. Well, kind of. Like, when the big decisions were coming up, in the, let's say in secondary, people were talking about it bare, mm-hmm. but it kind of died down after, like, uh, two days, and then, yeah. Was that the same thing that happened with Andrew Tate? Oh, yeah. No, but it, Andrew Tate was a long, like, long-lasting thing. Mm. Yeah, but... It kind of died down. Yeah, kinda, it kind of died down. Okay, so what's some of the best things about your generation? Best things. Well, did you, you so you said the worst things that like you guys are stupid and you don't really care about anything. Like you don't take anything seriously, you just take one side of things. Yeah. What's some of the best things about your generation? Oh, we're really good at like, um, like mental health basically. Like we're, re- we're really educated about it. I don't know how, but I'm not. But like a lot of people are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. But I mean, it's obvious to see why though, because like. Even in my generation, they were like big on mental health in school, always teaching us about mental health and like yeah, but they therapy. Really, they really help in school. In schools, they don't really help. They just, we just, like, people in my generation just started to like care. So, oh, so the people care, not the schools. Yeah. Not, like, the, the schools don't really help. They, uh, they, they just repeat the same thing all over again every year. How do the people care? How do like, the group of people care? Like, let's say they care by like, um, oof. Me it, personally, you just like, reassure them and like give them advice and stuff like that and and that's happening at your age you're saying at 16 yeah. years old people are like like 16 um 17 18 people are like trying to reassure each other and like giving them advice and stuff like yeah. that yeah that's ba- basically it aside from all the vaping aside from all the okay okay let's speak on mental health then what are some of the how do you think using social media affects your mental well-being and like what do you think about the impact of it on your friends and stuff like that Oh, mental health can affect so much people at the same time. It can't. Mm-hmm. It, ca- it can't. Mm-hmm. Because, like, let's say people just don't care about what you say to them online so they can just, what, keep on doing it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it could take a big toll on people because, like, it can lead them to go kill themselves, mm-hmm. which no one wants that. Mm-hmm. But people just, like, give them hate so much that, what, it leads them to do it. Yeah. But, but at the same time um social media that's what that's what it, basically what social media does but at the same time social media can also help them um because like uh they can sh- sh- like as i said share like reassuring messages um like try help them not to like what commit suicide can you see that on youtube yeah of course man it's fine don't want my thing it's not even subscribe oh it's not even like um one size okay so how do you how do you um, make sure that you, you use social media in a healthy way? What kind of, what some of the things do you do? With me? I private my accounts. Well, not really, but I do. I think my Insta is privated. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, like, or I do, all I do is like, let's say, you, ha- you know how you have close friends on Insta? Mm-hmm. Uh, I put most of like the stuff I do, I put my trusted friends on my close friends mm-hmm. and I post stuff on my close friends mm-hmm. and I have a sep- I have a separate account for only the friends that I only trust. Mm. So I just put post a bunch of stuff there. Mm. Yeah, like every day. Do you have like uh, Twitter? Oh yeah. Twitter also, you have got Twitter also. Do you have Facebook? No. I mean, I do, but I don't use it. So your generation is TikTok, Twitter, T- Facebook? No, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Yeah. Would you, which one is the best? Which one's the worst? Oh, TikTok is highest. Twitter is the worst because Twitter, a lot of stuff can happen on Twitter. Like, people and, can post stuff. And, and TikTok is not bad? Oh, TikTok's not bad because, like, people can like, ex- express themselves in a way. And you can learn stuff. Yeah, you can learn stuff. Like, there's this one guy, I think his name is News Daddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he, he, like, He's from here, the UK, but he gives a lot of facts, like what's going on in the world. He's basically my source of news, mm. except turning on the TV and watching it. He basically just briefs everything in like a one minute video. Do you think the news should be shorter, like one minute? Oh, no, 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 because the news goes into m- more depth. But um, uh, like the guy on TikTok, he all he does is like he goes into like he gives a brief explanation of of what's happening, but you and un- you can like you, it's like you understand so much what's mm. happening in that one, in that sh- yeah, in that brief explanation. Okay, I got another question. How do you like? Obviously, some people find it hard when they're growing up because there's a lot of pressure on them, especially generations, right? My generation was like that. 
do you think there's a lot of pressure on your generations to to do things and how do you handle that pressure i mean there is a lot of like pressure because like our parents like mm-hmm. some of our parents can just pressure us into doing mm-hmm. stuff that we don't want to do mm-hmm. yeah and um so that's, that's every generation right it happens to me yeah happens to before um but what is specifically your generation is there anything that you guys feel pressured about oh being like i don't know actually mm. like being correct or something like that mm. or like being um sure i don't know i'm not sure i'm not really sure that's good, that's a good yeah answer. Do you care about like climate change and stuff like that? Oh, me personally, not really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but some people, some people do, some people don't. Because yeah. since I took geography for like GCSE, yeah. I kind of did at that period of time, but now I really don't because like I don't really hear a lot about climate change. Okay. They, people just just ha- should have more common sense. That's what, all I'm saying. What's the biggest issue that your generation cares about? Oh no, okay, your friends. That's a big question. What's My the biggest, friends. What's the biggest issue your friends Boom. care about? What do you guys even talk about? At school. Yeah. Oh no, school, like uh, relationships uh, and friendships for sure. Really, that's the biggest. Yeah, thing. because I had to. I kind of had to help my friend break up with his girlfriend still. Oh, let's not let's not put him out there like that, innit? No, nah, but it's. Uh, yeah, w man's W W man's. I, I'm being W man's. That's how I was being W man's. Okay, by right, just helping him out. Yeah, helping him out. What oh. advice did you give him? Huh? What advice did you give him? He was being a little scared. He was being scared? Yeah, so I had to do it. You're like, pat, oh, you yeah, did it for him? No, no, I didn't really do it for him. I told him, like, oh, patting up. Like, you're going to you, you, you're gonna feel guilty now, but, you like, oh, done, yeah. yeah, it's going to die down soon because it's happened before. Okay, okay. Big question, then. Let's uh, bring, thank you so much for doing this. It's actually been really for interesting and fun. What is the, okay, here's a question I don't think you have an answer to, but, I do want to get your thinking on it. So you can ramble on in a bit. What is the meaning of life? What do you think the meaning of life is? And uh, at your age, what meaning do you feel? What meaning do you get gain from life? Uh, meaning of life. Bomb clock. <laughs> meaning of life. I don't really... All I know yet is like... Um, let's say I believe in god i'm a christian god put us on this earth uh like oh my gosh i could i just had it anyways god put us on this earth yeah to live to live like we had a purpose from him to like serve him and stuff like that yeah so that's the that's the meaning of life yeah like like he made us have a purpose he put us on this earth to have a purpose yeah but that's basically it and what's the meaning of your life like what do you i know this part's fulfilling god's purpose what do you why do you do the things that you do why do you have that website why do you want to be an actor oh what's that all about the website i have we forgot to go yeah we yeah can do that, we can do that. that website i have is like so i can basically pass everything that i have like pass um my um uh c-tech performing arts so i can go on and have like what a higher chance of going into the performing arts industry even though there's so much people competing with you one or another um to get in and like what's the most stuff you post on there oh it's like vlogs my dances um and my acting things mostly it's dancing now because we have re- we haven't really gotten to like the other stuff can you send it to me and i've kind of put it in the video my website yeah some of the vlogs and dancing Bumble club. You don't want okay, it's fine. You don't want I, I mean, I can send like my dancing, I don't mind that, but my vlogs. Oh, first of all, you're African, why are you saying Bumble club? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm blaming Bianca. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay so, okay, so so the meaning of life you think is to serve others, yeah, serve God, right? yeah, and go beyond, pursue. Oh, talk about that. What do you mean, pursue? What's that about? Pursue, go on. That's basically all I have to say. Like, like, like how anime people do it, they like they don't die. But they the grab, yeah, they grab the ground. I don't know what that's meant to do, and then they start powering it up, and they defeat the villain. So they like Just keep going on. Yeah, they keep going on, doing it, basically never give up. Enough said. Yeah. Enough said. Never yeah. give up. Yeah. Never gonna give you up. Never, never gonna, gonna let, let you down. down. Never gonna da, 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 desert you. That's to your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Thank you. This has been amazing. It's been really interesting. At the end of every podcast, just bring to this close. I I let the guests ask me a question because I've been just hammering you with questions. You can ask me any any question that you want. Um, yeah, just go go off on that. 
Oh yeah, what do you think about your generation? <laughs> your generation is like my generation, but wait, what do you think about my generation? Before I answer the question, what do you think about my generation? They're a little, a little bit more advanced, but people are still a bit like you know. Yeah, so our generation is a bit weird because um we're kind of like supposed to be the adults in this new change right because you guys are lucky you guys are coming after the change has happened yeah, i think we're, we're becoming adults soon yeah you're yeah. becoming adults soon but like we've two, we've, three years. we've been here for a while now and i think our generation is just waking up to the fact that we're stuck in two places like we're stuck in the traditional way we're also like stuck in this era so we're kind of like in the middle of that and we're kind of having to balance that and i think a lot of people are figuring out their own systems for themselves their own thinking their own um, plans for their lives um so i think it's an interesting time but i think a lot of people are also scared of that and so they, they don't really try they don't really do anything a lot of my generation has no plans no dreams no goals for their life they just kind of just want to just do nothing until until whenever so that's they difficult they didn't want to get married man yeah. they don't want to get I married think with my generation they don't want to get married have kids they don't want to kids. it's a bit weird it's super weird i think like because what's gonna who's gonna have the kids then yeah for, that's what that's what i'm saying but I mean that's not that's not up to up for us to say, right? Let's let let, let them decide that. Yeah, let them say that. But yeah, okay. No, that's good. Well, now you've done very well today. You've done very well. Thank you so much for coming. If you, if you remember it, let me know. I'll, I'll I'll answer that out of 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 this. But no, I mean this has been really good. Um, did, I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. You enjoyed it. Alright, go on. Give it. Give the girl. Give them your little your little. You know the the ooh the slow mo the slow mo the slow mo ooh okay. All right, brother. All right. Ooh, come on, brother. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for doing this. Hope I do this again with you in a couple of years' time when you're a bit older. And I hope to see your podcast too. When you do your podcast, I'll come on. I'll be your first guest or your second guest or whatever you need. But, um, but yeah, podcast. your podcast. Two years. We're going to do this two years. Two years Say it again. We're going to do this two years later, maybe. All right. No, 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 maybe. I'm going to cut the maybe. For sure. For sure. For two sure. years later. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for again. Peace.